I think when the Empire State Building was like, oh, we'd love to do something with you, I was like, well, I'm really interested in something kind of that people haven't really seen and no one's seen this space. So I was like, um, we're kind of back to normal, which is kind of what the collection is. I'm calling it this kind of Victorian matrix because I feel like that's what we've been living in. Like, are we living in the Victorian times or are we living in this alternate world? Like, what is it? So I guess that's kind of how I approach the collection. Um, and, I, and I felt like I wanted it to be that kind of dream fantasy uh, world. And, and hopefully we escape when we come underground under the, you know, the Empire State Building today. And that was the, the vibe I wanted. You know, I think like, you know, having Mugler and Andre and Virgil and all these like iconic people um, who actually it's so interesting because they all were such um, game changers in the business, I think, because Andre was so Andre and Virgil, you know, being this young black talent and even, you know, what Terry was doing early on was so flamboyant and insane and people didn't understand it at first and then it became so iconic so it's really I don't know it's really strange and, and hard to think about but I do think what they will leave behind is like such a wonderful legacy um, I, I mean I, definitely for me Literally, like, you know, when you see, like, Lady Gaga wearing a dress down the street yesterday, you know, it's, like, feels really cool and great. And I think that's why we continue to push ourselves every season. And, um, you know, we still are, you know, that still is happening. And red carpets are somewhat happening. And editorial world is not fully not there. I don't know. It, we are in an interesting time. So it's kind of like we have to figure out what is the right way to go. Um, Um, but I will say what's very important for me and has always been is that my customers are pretty much the main reason why we do anything. I fill my shows with half, half the show is women who shop. Um, most of them spend more money than Neiman's ever would, um, at least on me. So that's why we bring them here. <laughs> Um, but and but I do feel like uh, what I love is that I I do think that we bring people to escape a little bit. I, I think that that's still why I love doing shows, and I don't think shows are for every brand. And but for my brand, I, that's what I love. I'm here with my sister outlaw, Jill Kargman, and um, it's just a really great opportunity to leave the house, celebrate my dear friend Christian Siriano, and see friends, and do something that reminds us of how beautiful life can be. And in these times, these reminders are privileges, and may we see them as such. Thank you. Everybody, to the center. Oh. Me to you. I feel like I've won a competition to be here for the night, honestly, because I was just saying he's just he's such an artist. He paints, he paints beautiful shapes on people, and it's women, men making them be what they never thought they could. So I had to come in for it.
and you're in a Super Bowl ad. Tell me about that. How important? Super Bowl ad. Yeah, I mean, crazy. I couldn't believe I lost it to a Super Bowl ad. But we had so much fun, and I hope everyone loves it tomorrow. How are you going to the game? I'm not because I'm flying home, but I really hope the Cincinnati Bengals win because come on, the underdogs. I love Christian. I think he's a brilliant genius. My love affair started because he didn't use any animals to make his clothes. He doesn't use that in his shoes, in his bags, there's no leather. So I really appreciate that. And he just dresses everyone so beautifully and so different. From the first lady to Lady Gaga. Well said. Right? Well said. Yeah. <laughs> And I took, a, I saw a little peek of some stuff, so I'm really excited to see it in this environment.